Welcome back to our fractal tree project. In this video we are going to draw the method for our tree. So we're going to go into fractal tree and below where we have our constructor we're going to create our method called draw tree. So we'll say private void draw tree. We're going to pass in an instance of our graphics panel, so g, and then int x1 for our initial x and y coordinates. So we're going to do int y1. And then we also need to be able to pass in as a parameter our angle. So we'll say double angle. And we need to keep track of what our depth is. So we'll say int depth. And first of all, let's establish our base case. So if our depth is equal to zero, then we're just going to return and stop the drawing process. So this is our base case. And then we need to get the x coordinate for each branch. We're looking for the x and y um, that's on the out at the end of the branch. The initial x and y at the beginning of the branch we're passing into the method. So we're going to say int x2 is equal to x1 plus and we want an integer so we'll do and then we're going to use math dot cosine and then math dot two radians because we want to pass in our angle and be able to change that and then we're going to times it by our depth and um, by however our size of our branch so in this case, we're going to do 10.0. Now you could also add another variable here so that each time through, you change the size of the branch. And then we're going to need our, let's put a comment up here. So this is our x coordinate. And then we'll need one for our y coordinate of each branch. So we'll do the same thing for the y, so int y2 is equal to y1 plus int, and then we're doing math.sign to get the adjacent opposite side. And then we want to type in math.2radians and then the angle and multiply by our depth and multiply by 10.0 and then we're going to draw so we'll say g dot draw line and we're going to pass in x1 y1 for the base of the branch and x2 and y2 for the end of the branch. So this is a base of tree, which is at depth one. And then we're going to draw a tree. Now this is going to be our recursive call. Um, a recursive method calls itself. So g x2 y2 angle and then minus 65 and this is just um, what I've played with. Um, you can change the number and test it how it affects your tree. Remember our initial starting point is at negative 90 on the unit circle. Um, if we started at 90 our tree would be upside down and look like a root system. So we have depth minus 1 then. So this is going to be the left side of the tree. And then we want to do the right side of the tree. So we're going to do draw a tree. And x2 comma y2 angle plus 65. 
and a depth minus one each time through. This is the right side of the tree. So if 90 is at top of the is it at the top of the unit circle, in order to get the left side we want to subtract. And if 90 is at the top again, if we want to go to the right, we're going to add 65 each time. And then we just need to draw another method for our graphics component. Well, let's go ahead and save before we lose our what we, work we've done. Then we're going to do public void paint component. And we'll create an instance of our graphics class. And then we're going to call super in order to get a method called paint component. And we're passing our instance of graphics. And then we can set the color of the tree. And I'm just going to do black. And if you have not imported um, java.awt color, you'll need to do that. And then we want to draw a tree. Call the draw tree method, pass in G, 200, 300, minus 90, because we're starting at the bottom. And the 200 and the 300, those are the x and y coordinates in our um, applet window. So I'm, if I have something that's, say, 300 by uh, 400, then I'm starting in the middle on the x value and 300 would be at the bottom of the window. And then I'm doing a depth of 5. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. And then we'll compile. And I spelled angle wrong. And then we'll go ahead and run it. Oops, it's not my runner. And here's my tree. And notice you can see I have it. I'm starting in the middle, um, down here at 300 by 400, and then I'm starting at negative 90 on the unit circle, and I'm going up by a depth of five. So one. And then this is two, three, four, and five. And then we can play around. So at this point, then, what I ask you to do is to play with some of the variables. Mm -hmm. Here you can see that if you played with the angle of the tree, you might get this um, like wheat or chaff blowing in the wind. And if you play with the colors, um, this one changes the color at every depth. And you could get something like this. Or you could make multiple, actually make multiple instances of a tree and make them of different depth and size to make a forest. Mm -hmm. And so your project for this one is to come up with uh, some use the tree base to come up with something that looks like um, something from nature and um, that's it for this video and we'll see you next time or we'll do another fractal